What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, sad, you, you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is very general collective reading for Sana Sag. This to resonate if you have Sag any aspects of your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Earth, Moon, 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 Jupiter, Charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you like to donate, um, it's High Priestess Tarot 5, the links in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash up, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Um, um, personal readings are currently open, by the way. Um, if you're interested, you have to text to book. The numbers in the description box below. I only have a few slots left. So if you're interested, you need to text me um, before they fill up. Um, and I only have a few slots left. Just let everybody know. Okay? Love you guys. I did receive two channel messages as I was uh, meditating on your um, uh, September 2022 reading. Um, the first one I heard, um, wondering who a feminine energy is sleeping with. That was the first one. And the second one I heard, control issues. So you plug it in, how it resonates, Sagittarius. Um, now, energies can be reversed, so you have to plug it in, how it resonates, but somebody is wondering who a feminine energy is sleeping with so it could be you wondering who a fem energy is sleeping with or you could be the fem energy somebody's wondering who you're sleeping with or or what have you what have you um that's how i feel it can go i feel you could be somebody wondering who a feminine energy is sleeping with and you can be masculine or feminine or you could be the fem energy that somebody's wondering who you're sleeping with how that resonates and applies sagittarius only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. But why is somebody's wondering why? Uh, why is somebody's wondering? Oh, I heard adult them. By the way, I heard adult. Why is somebody's wondering who an adult feminine energy is sleeping with? I have no damn idea. Why don't they go out and find somebody else to sleep with? Or what have? Or I don't know. Self please yourself. Just saying. Just saying. I don't spend my time and energy wondering who somebody's sleeping with. I go out and make my own life happen, and that's just damn true. That don't make no sense to me. But you plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages you have reflected. By the way, I've been promoting Sun Bendy Tarot on my channel. She's a really awesome reader if anybody wants to check her out. Um, I've promoted, I think, about three or four readings of hers so far. I just promoted another one of hers just before I started this video, if anybody's interested. And y'all know I only promote the ones I think are good. Just saying, just saying. All right. Um, hyena and oyster. For some, you could be dealing with a fire sign or water sign. If you are, they could have Aries, Leo, Sag, or um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Earth, Moon, Inhale, Jupiter, Charge. You plug it in, how it resonates. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Earth, Moon, Inhale, Jupiter, Charge. Uh, number 52 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 52 could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 52, beauty. A Sagittarius has bit off way more than they can chew and they're about to find this out very soon. Very soon. Regarding children. For some, one child, some, two, two plus children. A Sagittarius has bit off way more than they can chew, way more than they can chew. Uh, some, some of you guys, it's regarding one child, some it's regarding two and two plus children. Only you know, I mean, I don't know if this is a guardian situation or a foster uh, foster parent situation or a step parent situation or a parent situation only you know your situation and story not anybody else or you could be a babysitter how that resonates but for some it's one child for some it's two two plus children but you have bit off way more than you can chew so whether you're a babysitter or a guardian or a step parent or a, a biological parent or what have you what have you you plug it in how it resonates hyena A 
My child is about to lash out at a Sagittarius very, very soon. They have never done this before, and they're about to. It's about to shock the hell out of you. My child is about to lash out at a Sagittarius. I heard they uh, have never done it before, but they're about to. It's about to shock the hell out of you. So, um, lash out. Not physical. Not physical. So, it's not physical. It is uh, verbal is what I'm presuming. They're going to talk back to you or cuss at you or something. Lash out. So, whatever lash out is to you, it's not physical, though. That was specific in here. It is verbal, I'm presuming. Um, I think this child is going to be in a hyena energy. It could be a... Um, Fire sign child or any other sign child in a hyena energy. Any other sign child in a hyena energy. Um, however that resonates and applies. But angry. Whatever this lashing out is that's not physical, it's going to be very angry. And probably very emotional. And they're not going to be messing around. Whoever you are, Sag. I heard this child has never done it before, but they're about to. It hasn't happened yet. And that, that could be your period of frustration, lessons to be learned with this child. I don't think you ever thought they would do it, but they are about to do it. It could be a masculine, masculine or feminine child. You plug it in how it resonates. Teenager. A teenager. It's a teenager. If this resonates for you, it's a teenager. And for one, they're 10 and below. Okay, so for one of you guys, it's a teenager about to do this. And for one, they're 10 and below. Um, so you plug in how it resonates. There's two of you guys. For one, it's a 10 and below child. They've never done it before. For one, it's a teenager. They've never done it before. So you plug it in how it resonates. Ooh. Hold on one second, you guys. I'm sorry. I apologize. A planned party soon is about to backfire in a huge way. It's going to make you very angry. A planned party is about to backfire in a huge way. It's about to make you very angry. So you plug it in how it resonates, Sagittarius, some kind of planned party energy. It could be you that's planned this party or is about to plan this party or somebody else that has planned this party or is about to plan this party, but somebody's about to plan a party or already has a planned party, but it's about to backfire. Um, so meaning it's, it's either the party's going to go left or it's not going to happen. Um, however that resonates and applies, I heard it's going to make you very angry, whether it's going to go left or it's not going to happen. Um, however this resonates. Um, uh, this is you in the hyena energy in this aspect. Uh, your fire sign energy, very angry and upset because it's not going to happen. Or it's going to go left, however that resonates. Oyster. A Scorpio has already cut off contact. For one, for one, a Scorpio is about to cut off contact. For one, an Aquarius has already cut, cut off contact. And for one, an Aquarius is about to cut off contact. Oh, Lord. So a lot of cutting off contact energy, if this resonates for you, Sagittarius. For one of you guys, a Sag, uh, not a Sag, for one of you guys, a Scorpio has already cut off contact. For one, they're about to. So it could be mass morph in Scorpio. They could have Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, hammer, Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, Sag. For one of you guys, an Aquarius has already cut off contact. For one, they're about to. They could have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, hammer, Jupiter charts. Only you you know who this uh, Scorpio or these Sages are. I'm not Sages. You're, you're Sag, sorry. Only you know who these um, um, Scorpios or Aquariuses are masculine or feminine, whether they've already done it or they're about to, as far as cutting off contact. And I feel like true, no contact, like done, like kaput, like 
see ya. Like, double deuces. Um, just saying, just saying. Um, I, I, for some, I think it could make you upset. Possibly. Because um, we have hyena energy here. Um, and it's going to make you fr uh, it's going to make you frustrated. Already has made you frustrated. Um, and lessons to be learned. You plug it in how it resonates. This is the water sign energy. A Sagittarius is about to be gifted a diamond ring. And a shed. Wow. One of you guys is about to be gifted a diamond ring and a shed? Congratulations. Um, I can't wait to buy myself a shed. Just saying. One of you guys is about to be gifted a diamond ring and a shed. So congratulations if that resonates for you. Um, you're an oyster, a pearl in the oyster, a diamond in the rough, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And um, somebody's about to gift you a diamond ring or a shed or both. Um, I would love a shed, and that's just the damn truth. I have one, but I really would like a new one. Um, like a, what's it called, a she shed? Just saying. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, some kind of shed or diamond ring energy if that resonates for you. Um, you are the diamond in the rough or the pearl in the oyster in that aspect if that resonates for you, okay? Um, I think somebody finds you beautiful, um, and maybe that's why they're going to gift you this shed or this diamond ring, or um, or they love your inner beauty. Uh, we have the beauty card. You plug it in how it resonates. Spiritual guidance, protection from harm. A lawsuit with a religious organization is about to heat up. For one, you're about to hear about this. For one, you're in the middle of it. A lawsuit with a religious organization is about to heat up. For one, you, um, you're about to hear about it. And for one, you're in the middle of it. So some kind of lawsuit with a religious organization about to heat up, whether you were in the middle of this or you're about to hear about it. A Pisces is very significant in this. Pisces is very significant in this, and a Pisces is very significant in it. Whoever this Pisces is, it, uh, Pisces could be on your side or not on your side. Only you know who this Pisces is to you and not anybody else. Mask or fifth Pisces, <clears throat> but a Pisces has a lot to do with this, I'll tell you that. It's some kind of religious organization, whether you are in the middle of the lawsuit or you uh, are about to hear about it. A particular Sagittarius is about to get a lot of downloads. A lot of downloads. One, one year reader, one year not. Okay. I heard a particular Sag is about to get a lot of downloads, a lot of downloads for one year reader and one year not. So, you know, you can get spiritual downloads and not be a reader. You can be any occupation and get downloads. Uh, if you're mentally clear, um, and connected enough with the spiritual realm to get them. Uh, and the spiritual realm blesses you with them. Um, and that's just true. Um, so for one, you're a reader, a tarot reader. And for one, uh, you're not. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So spiritual guidance, protection from harm. I think these downloads are protecting you from harm or they're about to protect you from harm. Um, and it's your ancestors really guiding you with spiritual downloads. Whether it's for your collective or it's for you. Um, whether you're a reader or not a reader. How that resonates and applies. Such. Funnel, theory of frustra frustration, lessons to be learned.
Identity theft. A Sagittarius has identity thieved somebody. They're about to be caught in a huge way. Stolen personal information. Oh, Lord. A Sagittarius has identity thieved somebody. And this is not the only sign I picked this up on this round. Just saying. Um, a Sagittarius has identity thieved somebody. I heard they're about to be caught um, through many series of chain events. Um, you're about to ever regret it. You're about to ever regret it is what I just heard. Whoever you are, Sagittarius, identity thiever, you can be a masculine or feminine, and you are identity thiever. I heard you stole somebody's personal information, so probably their green card number, their social security no number, their, um, if they have a green card or social security number, or their, uh, obviously their name, and, per and their per personal information. Particularly a green card number or a social in that um, is what I'm feeling. Um, but you have definitely identity thieved somebody, and obviously it was for money. Whoever you are, I heard you're, you're about to get caught and you're about to ever regret it. So whoever you are, um, identity thiever. Hopefully that's just for one of you, but this is not the only sign I picked that, picked that up on. And that's just the truth. So I think you're going to be very frustrated. I heard you're about to be caught. Um, you And I heard you never thought you would be caught too. So you were very egotistical. You never thought you would be caught, but you are about to be caught. Um, and that's going to be a lesson to be learned. I feel for some of you could be jailed over this. Um, I absolutely think that, and I think you're going to be very angry. A college age child is about to be put on academic probation and a lot of scholarship money is about to have to be paid back. For one, you are a parent of this child. For one, you are not, you're about to hear about it. Okay, I heard a, oh, Lord. I heard a college age, college age child is about to drop, um, not drop out. They're about to be put on academic probation. But I heard once they get put on academic probation, they're going to, um, the scholarship money is going to have to be paid back. I heard for one, you are the parent of this child. For one, you are, um, you are not. And you're about to hear about this college age child getting put on academic probation. And the scholarship money about to have to be paid back. Um, whoever you are and how that applies, Sagittarius. So for one, you are actually the parent. You'd be a foster parent or you could be a biological parent, but the scholarship money is going to be paid back. Um, it sounds like once they get put on, whoever this child is, once they get put on academic probation, it sounds like per policies, procedures, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It sounds like once they get put on the academic probation, they'll have you know, the money's got to be paid back. But I know every every place is different. So you plug it in how it resonates. I think you're going to be very frustrated if you're the parent of this child and you're going to have to be the one financially responsible to pay it back or partly responsible to pay it back. How that resonates. Um, it is a, you, for one, it's your child. For one, you're about to hear about this situation. So it's going to be somebody else's situation. You plug it in how it resonates. Oof. A neighbor is about to come over to a Sagittarius' house and find a very disturbing situation in a bedroom. They will call the police, know this. For one, it is pedophile energy. For one, it is drugs. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. So, uh, so, um. A neighbor is about to come over to somebody's house soon. It could be your house or somebody you're connected to's house. But they're about to come over to somebody's house and they're about to find a very disturbing situation. Um, whether it's drugs in a bedroom or a pedophile situation in a bedroom. Pedophile is an adult and a minor sexual situation. Um, and I heard uh, they, will, um, they will call the police. So I don't know if this is your... For some, I feel it could be your home they're about to enter and find the pedophile situation or the drugs in the bedroom for one it could be somebody else's home and you're about to hear about it um how that resonates applies i assume when they call the police they're probably um i'm assuming those people are going to get arrested or at least not the minor um but the adult 
pedophile, I'm assuming they'll probably get arrested. At least Scott, I hope so. And the drugs, whoever that is, I'm assuming they'll get arrested. Just saying, just saying. Or at least they should. Um, I think you'll be frustrated at the situation, whether it's going on in your home or somebody else's home. And obviously, lessons to be learned. Nobody should be messing around with minors sexually. And nobody should be doing drugs. And that's just the truth. Beauty? A beauty channel. Photos. A beauty channel and photos is what I just heard. A beauty channel and photos. So some kind of beauty channel. It could be you creating a beauty channel or somebody else creating a beauty channel. I think like health and beauty and photos. It could be you taking beauty photos like uh I think of like glamour shots, beauty photos, or somebody else taking like glamour shot beauty photos. Um, I think of like a modeling portfolio is what I think with the photos. Um, one of you guys might be starting a modeling portfolio or you have a modeling portfolio or, or maybe you're going to contact a modeling agency possibly. You plug it in how it resonates, how that resonates and applies, or you're contracted in with the modeling agency. How that resonates and applies, Sagittarius, okay? Rape is about to become very significant in a uh, Sagittarius's life. Very significant. And know this rape is going to go very, 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 very public. Very public. Oh, my God. Rape is about to become very, very, very significant in Sagittarius's life. Um, wow. I'm so sorry for whoever that's for. And I heard know that it's going to go very, very, very public. One, you're trying to hide it. One, you were raped. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry for the one that was raped. But the one that's trying to hide it, that's abuse. You might need to hear that. That's abuse if you're trying to hide rape or any kind of abusive nature. And that's just the truth. Voyeurism is illegal, and that's criminal, and that's abusive. And rape, if you might need to hear that. Okay? Just saying. So, I heard um, one of you guys was raped. One of you guys was raped. And um, I heard it's about to go very public. Now, I, you could want this to go public or not want it to go public. Only you know your situation story, not anybody else. My condolences to the one that was right. I'm so sorry about that. But for one, I mean, I didn't rape you, but I hate that anybody's right. And for whoever, um, the other person, you're trying to hide a rape. But I heard it's about, to, it's about to come out whether you want it to or not. It is about to come out in a huge way. It is about to come out in a huge way. And you're about to be so mortified, but you shouldn't have tried to hide it. It's about to come out in a huge way, but you shouldn't have tried to hide it. So one of you guys was trying to hide a rape, but I heard it's about to come out very public, but you shouldn't have tried to hide it. Uh, meaning, you shouldn't try to hide rapes. You should publicly report them. Why would anybody? That's abusive. That is so abusive. Anybody needs to hear that? All right. But my condolences to the one that was right. And I'm serious about that. I love you guys. I hope this helped. And namaste.